Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to manually install the Sprint Galaxy S4 MF9 over the air update on your device. This is going from MDL to MF9. So, to give you an idea, you have to be on MDL. Uh, I believe you do have to have stock recovery if you have a custom recovery. I do not believe you're going to install it. If you're running a custom ROM, this will not work either. If you're running custom ROM, just wait for the developer to post an update to the ROM, or you can find one over at XTA, just a, an updated ROM zip that you can flash for MF9. Anyways, I'm completely stock in MDL right now, so stock MDL, I do have stock recovery as well. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First of all, you need to download the over-the-air update zip file. This zip file is the exact same as the over-the-air update. Your no data is going to be wiped either following this method. So uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It'll probably take you to my website where, you, where I will have a download link. The download is pretty big. I believe over 300 meg. So be patient with that download because it is a pretty large update, including a lot of uh, changes, which I will uh, go over in a review video. I'll link to that in the description if you want to check that out. But anyways, so once you download it, you need to transfer it over to an external SD card. You can't transfer it over to your internal storage, unfortunately. So when I go to My Files and I go to All Files, you'll see SD Memory Card instead of the internal storage. You will see that zip file. It'll be a bunch of letters and numbers, and it's a zip file. Again, transfer it over to your external SD card. Once it's on your external SD card, we can go ahead and manually install this update. So to do so, you can just go ahead and power off the device. Actually, I don't need it plugged in. I'm not sure exactly sure why I had it plugged in, but go ahead and power it off all the way down. Once fully powered off, we need to get into our stock recovery. To do so, you press and hold volume up, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Keep, it, keep all three held down until the screen lights up. And then go ahead and let go once that Samsung Galaxy S4 screen lights up. You'll see a little blue icon. That means it is going into our recovery. So here we go. Boot it on up. It says no command. Uh, and here is our Android system recovery, our stock recovery. So here's that stock recovery. You will see you have options to navigate. Use volume up and down to navigate and the power button to select. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down to apply update from external storage again, which is that SD card that we transferred. And then find that zip file that we just put on our phone, that uh, letters and numbers, that uh, very large zip file, and press the power button to select it. What it's going to do is find that zip file and using our stock recovery, it's going to just go ahead and install that update for us. I do believe it is going to take a decent amount of time to install as the file size is large. Um, it is sitting on install SD card, so I will uh, keep you updated on the progress. So here we go, it says installing system update. You'll see a progress bar down here. Just go ahead and be patient with it. As I said, it's going to take a long time. I'm going to let it run through. I believe once it's done, it should automatically reboot your device. If not, I'll come back and let you know what to do. But uh, I'm going to let mine run through, and I'll be back. All right, so it is now automatically rebooting. I was sitting here forever waiting for it. I feel like that took almost 10 minutes. As I expected, it did take a long time. So I will make an annotation that you do need to have over 50% battery at the beginning. Just double check, make sure you don't run out of battery while the update is processing. But here we go. Uh, looks like boot animation is the exact same. I'm going to let it boot up. Uh, my guess is it's going to have to uh, update the applications again. Depending on how many apps you have, it could take a while. So I'm going to let this do its thing, and then I'll be back once it is fully booted up. All right, so I just ran through Android is upgrading, and it looks like it is booted up now. So uh, booted on up. I just wanted to double check and make sure that we are now on MF9. Go ahead and go into settings. You can go to more, scroll down, go to about device. I believe that color of about device might be different. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, you will see build number. The last three digits do say MF9, and your base uh, baseband version should also say MF9 at the end. Again, it is 4.2.2 still. Uh, of course, that being the latest regardless, so obviously it's not going to be newer. But there we have it, MF9 there, and that's about it. So uh, hopefully this has helped you out. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to me. Click that subscribe button. Also, I will do a review on this update, so I'll go ahead and start that now. So I'll upload them at the same time. You can check that out as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.